Good morning, Holy Spirit, for yet another gifted day. Almighty God, thank you for always being there for us. Lord God, help us to persevere in our faith till victory is established in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dearly beloved of the Lord, God is pleased when we make him the first priority of our lives. Mary Madeline's effort was rewarded by being the first person to know the stone had been rolled in Jesus disappearing from the grave. My brother and sister in the Lord, in case you have been repeating the same examination or keep searching for a leeway for a particular venture, and thinking of giving up. Learn the lesson of persistence from Mary. In John chapter 20, verse 11 to 18, while all the other disciples left for their homes, Mary Magdalene refused to leave. Her persistence was to know what had happened to the body of her Lord, her Lord. While the big brothers left, she remained at the tomb crying. As John chapter 20, verse 11, informs us by saying, that but Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping and as she wept she stood down and looked into the tomb she taught Jesus she sought Jesus with fear, tears what a sincere love and devotion Mary sought Jesus with tears. Yes. Such sincere love and devotion is what the Lord demands from you and I. What a sincere love and devotion. Not even the presence of angels appeased her. All she wanted was to see Jesus' body. And therefore, verse 12 to 13 tells us, and she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to a woman, 
Why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. This teaches you and I that nobody should take the place of Jesus in our lives and nothing else should satisfy us other than Jesus himself. Though she, Mary, is sincerely wrong for searching for the living among the dead. As Luke 24 verse 5 informs us, However, her persistence paid off eventually. It is hard to work to persevere, but the reward is always sweet. Imagine the overwhelming joy of Mary who was looking for a dead body only to see Jesus speak to her. And as the psalmist says, in some other than 26 verse 5 those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy what a great privilege if you and i also persist and seek the lord wholeheartedly we are sure to find him as the prophet jeremiah forms us in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 Jeremiah tells us that and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. And that is exactly what Mary Magdalene did. And that is what Jesus also requires of you and I. Mary Magdalene was the first to see the risen Jesus and commissioned with the comforting news of the resurrection. Brothers and sisters, And so, John chapter 20, verse 7 to 18, Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Mary Madeline came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. Mary's desire was not to lose Jesus again. Now she knows that Jesus did not want to be detained at the tomb. Meanwhile, Jesus already knows that he and Mary had important work to do. Therefore, Jesus sent Mary forth, who joyfully shared the good news with the other disciples. Yes, this is the Great Commission, March 20, 19 to 20. It's also for us today to obey. Mary could not recognize Jesus at first. As John chapter 20, verse 14, 15 informs us now, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She Mary supposing him, Jesus, to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me 
where you have laid him, then I will take him away. Perhaps because Jesus deliberately concealed his identity or because Mary's tears and grief had blurred her vision. And so Mary could not recognize Jesus at first. However, at last, she recognized Jesus when he called her by name. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him, Rabuni, which is to say, teacher. Beloved, can you recognize the voice of the Lord when he speaks to you? We cannot meet Christ until we discover that he is indeed alive, that his tomb is empty. Beloved, never give up until the Lord shows up for you and you will be filled with joy by the good news of the resurrection and share it with others. Oh Lord, help us to persevere in faith till you intervene in our situation. Amen. And stay blessed. <laughs>